and the bear emerges from his cave. We are hearing thunder and there's a risk of funnel clouds. This is unreal. Hello and welcome to Conjuring Rock. Today, I'm gonna go meet up with Mel and Adam from Adam's Real Adventures and we are going camping. Gonna go camping for two nights out at Big Gull Lake. We reserved a campsite. Very lucky to get one during these uh, times. And I got this sweet ride to get me there. More on that later. Let's get on the road. I got about an hour drive and uh, yeah, be hitting the water and meeting up with them. Yeah. Okay, we're here. This is a very steep boat launch. Very steep. Actually, Ben, I'm gonna need you to, oh, sorry. Dude. No, that's okay. What, what do you need me to do? I'm gonna need you to take a bunch of stuff. Bunch of footage, yeah. I need you to take some footage. No, no, no. Of me. I need you to take some of my stuff on your boat. Oh, what? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, you've met Adam before, and this is Mel. It's a kayak, man. Please. I've never gone camping with a fishing kayak, so this is going to be interesting. I, uh, well, caught my glasses. I will show you how I packed the boat and uh, how I made it happen. Well, that's a cool setup. So look at this. So Adam, he can he can vlog, and then he's got his GPS to make sure that he's vlogging in the right location. Yep. It's that's, this actually has prime vlogging location markers. Wow. Yeah. So that's how you get this beautiful scenery behind you, right? You've seen my videos. There's no way I'm overloading this thing. <laughs> this thing on the other hand, that's a sweet chair. Oh yeah, it's super comfy. I got it in the low position for touring. Gives me a bit more speed, a bit more stability. Hey, don't leave us behind. No, I'll just go ahead and I'll pre-fish everything for you. <laughs> and let you know if anything's there. And whether or not you should even bother. I already know I probably should. <laughs> yeah, even though I have all that gear on there, still pretty stable here. This is this is great. I'm out on some pretty open water here and uh, been getting some getting hit with some waves and it still feels pretty stable even though I got it loaded up. I think I have it loaded up a little offside though to be honest. I think I might be a little heavy on the right side because I'm tracking a little bit more to the right than I would like to. Um, but it's not horrible. It's not only every once in a while I'm doing a correction stroke. This is so beautiful. So lucky to live in such a beautiful country like this. I love Canada. Um, what are your plans for when you get there? Uh, set up sleeping. Okay, well. So the plan is, once we get to camp, I'm actually sleeping in a hammock tonight. He's he's good at interrupting. So the uh, game plan is, I didn't actually bring a tent because where we're going, there's only really enough room for uh, one tent. Apparently, it's a big site, but only room for one tent. So Adam proposed, why don't I bring my hammock for you? So I get to sleep in a hammock for the first time. So that's kind of exciting, that's cool. So he said uh, he's gonna set up the hammock and the sleeping stuff. He uh, He's also making steaks tonight. Him and Mel are making steaks and sweet potato for supper, which is wonderful of them. And, uh, and I forgot the salad, I was supposed to bring salad. There's only one thing I forgot and it's the salad, of course. I gotta tell them at some point. <sighs> So since Adam is uh, cooking steaks, he needs a good set of coals on the fire. So my job is to do the fire. He's gonna do the sleeping arrangements. And uh, yeah, sounds like a good plan. This is like a first little landing spot. Yeah, this is. That's a good paddle. How long did it take? Yeah. We left an hour and a half, 30. An hour and a half paddle, eh? Yeah. That's good. That didn't feel like that one. So, it's a pretty cool campsite. We even have like a little kitchenette there. That's cool. Got some logs to sit on by the fire, perfect. Some grills to use. Oh, that's ideal. And uh, yeah, this is a big campsite. Whoa, plenty of room to choose for a hammock. 
probably a good tent pad right there. I think that's probably the only good flat spot to set up a tent. This is super chill. I like this. It's a pretty sweet campsite. Yeah. Yeah. So in case you're wondering, it's site number 17, uh, D-Set. It said it was a popular campsite on the website, but it was actually not booked up, which was quite surprising. So dark in there. Can't really see much. No, jeez. Good morning. It's uh, Saturday morning, and it's raining. As you can hear, this has uh, been a much-needed rain. Been like in the 40s all week. So I think we might do some breakfast. We're definitely gonna do some coffee some breakfast, maybe do some shore fishing, and uh, we're gonna hang out and see if uh, this rain stops and maybe we can get out on the water. It should stop at some point. I love the rain though, so I really don't mind this. This is awesome. You said it was something good. Oh, still man, it's a small mouth, that's why it felt good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> There's something going on over here. Oh yeah? Cause you, you got bit last night on the chatterbait. That's right. The, the Senko got bit off over here. Something's going on over there, they like it. Okay, I should uh, put a line in. It's a beautiful smallmouth actually. I think that's the uh, first fin on film of the trip. Well done. Sweet. Alter your footage this, uh... make your fish look bigger oh yeah I'll try look good, you So we got some steak in there, we got some eggs, and peppers, and potatoes. Potatoes! Breakfast wrap on the lake of Crowland! Yeah! <laughs> so last night we just hung around the fire and talked and drank and laughed and carried on and this guy just, you know. We had a really great time around the fire and I'm not even oh. recording, I'm not recording. Oh, okay. Well, now that uh, breakfast is all wrapped up and fishes are done, I think we're gonna hit the water and do some fishing. Chill, chill, it's okay. Good, look at that. Nice little colors on you. I'm gonna catch a fish right now, watch. Mel caught a smallie. Chill, dude. Hey. That's a good Yeah. You wanna hold it, babe? Okay, so look. <laughs> you don't actually wanna pinch his lip. You wanna get your... I'm not ready yet. Was that on the, uh, oh, the Ned rig? Bubble gum, wow. Okay, so we are hearing thunder and we just checked the weather and there's a risk of funnel clouds forming. So we're gonna keep our eyes on the sky. We're actually uh, putting up uh, some ridge lines and setting up a bit of a tarp, tarp city right now. 
So over the kitchen area, we have this blue one. We just uh, ran a ridge line through the actual grommets of the tarp. And then uh, secured it with some pegs. And then this one is more of the uh, larger chill-in area. This is where we're probably gonna have dinner and maybe a couple drinks. But it's looking nasty over there. Oh yeah. Definitely. Check out this time lapse. This is unreal. Everything went crazy. The storm <laughs> is like pretty much right above us because the cracks are loud. This is insane. Okay, guys, I can hear everyone help. That's the craziest thing I've ever seen. Now that the uh, now that the bad weather seems to have passed, the bugs now know it's time to feast. So they have come out to play. Unfortunately. <laughs> oh, hey there! Thanks for clicking on this video. Hey, Welcome no, back we're not doing it, dude. What? We're what? gonna try and find some dry firewood. It's gonna be tough. We might not. Um, but if we can find a dead tree that's standing, the top might be wet and the bottom might be wet, but we might be able to find some dry wood in the middle. Um, so we're gonna go look deep in the woods where it's buggy. That's yeah. why we got these jackets on. We don't have to go deep in the woods. Not only do we look cool, but bugs aren't gonna be sucking our lives away. Catch me outside, how about that? Did you really? <laughs> you don't have to use it. Adam's just checking that deadfall to see if there's any dry wood in there. Ooh. hear that? What is that? Oh. What is that? I don't know actually. <laughs> I lifted it and there's just a ton of ants here. Unless, unless they're termites. It's doing it again. Oh, thanks for calling. This it's over here. Possessed. <laughs> now it's, it's yeah. It what? like jumped as you were like moving that stuff. If, uh, if any of you can tell us what that is, that would be awesome. That is uh, weird. We got some possessed wood or something. Because <laughs> it just keeps grunting at us and, and moving from piece to piece without us, without us seeing anything of like what it could be. Weird. Anyway, so Adam is uh, getting the canoe prepped. We're going to go fishing. We're going to get in the kayak. We're going to... We're gonna get out there and do a couple hours, or actually probably just an hour, if that. I think we don't have much sunlight left, so we're gonna do what we can do. Look at that, I don't know if you can see that. There's like a steam coming off the lake. I think that's actually the smoke from our car. That is beautiful. No. Yeah. Look at their smoke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think that's smoke from our fire. That's, that's white, that's not blue. Uh, looks kind of blue to me. I don't see it anywhere else. 
because there's only heat evaporating from here, okay? Just let me have this one. Right. Just let me have this You're one. Right. Well, it's getting a little too dark to film. I gotta charge some cameras anyways and get ready for tomorrow, so how about we just switch the lights on now? And the bear emerges from his cave where he has hibernated for the past 12 days. He's, he looks confused. He doesn't know where he is. He just wants to eat something. So now he is going to go searching for food. So I might want to run because he'll probably want to eat me. Seems as though we're all packed up. I think we have everything that we brought. I'm gonna run you through how I actually uh, packed up my boat for camping. Usually you don't take a fishing kayak camping, but let's, uh, I figured I'd give it a try and make it happen. And you can easily make it happen. Let me show you. So in the front hatch here, I actually just, this is kind of like my day access, stuff that I might want to use when I'm out on the water, my camera, my batteries, some snacks. And then in here, I mean, I've still got space, but I've got my clothes, I've got a tarp, uh, and I could keep an extra life jacket in here if I wanted to, or uh, whatever. I mean, I got tons of room in there. You just gotta make sure that stuff doesn't slide beyond this point, because then it might be a little bit tricky to get it back. But moving back, I'm able to keep all of my fishing tackle and water bottles underneath the seat here, all strapped in. There's uh, little bungee cords underneath here. I got my pliers ready. Got a couple lures that I've been switching in and out from. I uh, keep my rods right here. Or in the back, there's other rod holders. Oh, and plastics, pliers, extra fishing line. This handy little bag that straps on the back here. It's perfect. And then we have uh, my, my cooler, which is bungeed in there. You can adjust these bungees. You just uh, loosen that up and it slides in the track there. So you can have it wherever you want. And once I get my boat on the water, I'll be putting this big pack here in the back here and the bungee will go over that and I'll have some extra straps just to make sure it doesn't fall out. And then in the very back, we have more room. So I've got my shovel for digging a hole if I had to dig a hole. Uh, my bowl, I mean, this isn't properly packed because we're leaving, so I'm kind of being a little bit lazy, but you can imagine if everything was packed properly, there'd still be space. And then I have my food bag here, which has more of my food. So, I mean, really, you can go fishing with a, or you can go camping with a fishing kayak. It's totally possible. We're about to hit the water though. We're gonna do a little bit of fishing and uh, make our way back to the boat launch. Oh, wow. Hey guys, I think that came down last night. Look at that tree in the water. That looks pretty new, pretty fresh. All those needles are pretty green. There we go, I'm on. Oh, I jumped, I didn't lose it though. Nice, that's an okay bass. It's a little chunky, a little chunky chunk. See you later, dude. Look at the mess that he left my lure in. Wow, I guess I deserve it, right? I just hooked him in the face, so. Well, we made it. That was a pretty interesting weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Never experienced weather like that 
at least being outdoors in it, camping in it. And then, yeah, well. And it was really cool camping in a fishing kayak. It's totally possible, super easy. I could have brought more stuff as well. That is no issues at all. And uh, yeah, pretty good weekend. Make sure you go check out Adam's video. Uh, it's gonna be an awesome one. He's got a channel, his link will be in the description below or you can click that button right there. Anyways, if you liked that video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you wanna see some more. We'll catch you later. Cream eating eggs, cream eating eggs, cream eating eggs, cream eating eggs, cream eating eggs.